The Athletics are leaving Oakland, but there's a new professional baseball team in town, the Oakland Ballers. Today, I'm going to a game to see what it's really like, because I live in Oakland, and I want to know if Ballers games are as fun as everyone says they are. Can this team really fill the professional sports-sized hole in my heart? Or am I going to have to start going to San Francisco Giants games? Here's the game plan. Number one, get a ticket. Number two, get to the game in the proper way. Three, see what it's like at a Ballers game. Number four, get a hot dog and peanuts. I hear they have fancy food trucks and that kind of thing, but I do not care about any of that. I just want a hot dog and some peanuts. Number five, have a good time. And number six, determine if the ballers can really make up for the four professional sports teams that Oakland has lost. The game starts in about two hours and I do not have a ticket. The first few games sold out completely, so I'm hoping that this won't be an issue, but I bet the mania has died down a little bit. The ballers play in the Pioneer League and today they take on the Great Falls Voyagers. And the Voyagers are visiting from Montana, so I hope they enjoy their time here in Oakland. This is the first of a six game series. I chose this specific game very intentionally. Here are some facts. See if you can guess why I chose this one. Number one, it's a Tuesday night after a holiday weekend. Number two, there are no promotions tonight. The Ballers do promotions almost every night, but this is not one of them. And number three, the Voyagers are last place in the league. Can you see what I'm going for? I want a game that won't be crowded for two reasons. Number one, it's just that I'm afraid of filming in public. And number two, I want to see what kind of crowd the ballers can draw when there isn't a ton going on. Is this whole thing just a gimmick? Or is this the start of something more? But the athletics are in Boston right now. So anyone who wants to watch baseball in Oakland tonight only has one choice. All right, let's see if there are any tickets still available. Yeah, looks like there are plenty. I can sit pretty much wherever I want. These prices look extremely reasonable, about the same cost of what it would be to go to an A's game, but only a tenth of the price of going to a Giants game. Mike the hot dog mayor has a coupon, so you better believe I'm using it. And thanks to Mike, the price is only about 20 bucks. That's a great deal. I've just run into a couple of issues. I was going through the game day rules and apparently the ballers don't allow tripods or large camera lenses. And well, so hopefully this works. The other issue is the clear bag policy. I don't have any clear bags, so I guess all I can really do is shove as much of my stuff as possible into my pockets. Normally I hate having stuff in my pockets, but that's my only option today. Now the bars do have camera exceptions for credentialed members of the media, but that is definitely not me. And the clear bag policy is for safety. Of course I support safety, but it does run somewhat counter to their stated environmental missions. One unique aspect of the ballers is how they encourage people to get to games. You can definitely drive, and there are parking lots with security guards, but they'd prefer you to take public transit or bike. So that's what I'm gonna do. Let's give that another try. This is one of the older city bikes. Some of them have seen better days. Mechanical issues aside, I love riding bikes. Call me crazy, and many people have, but I enjoy riding city streets as well. And doing it in Oakland ups the stakes a bit. But one thing you never want to hear in Oakland, or anywhere really, is this sound. Turns out it was just some fireworks. In Oakland, people drive hard. So I would not really recommend biking unless you know what you're doing. Probably gonna take the bus home. A lot has been said about West Oakland. Just over there is the Wood Street encampment. But right over there is the largest climbing gym on the continent. And this is Mandela Parkway. It's really nice. The weather here could not be better. Today it is 70 and sunny. 
while the rest of the country bakes under a heat dome, the weather here is immaculate. A post just went viral on Twitter comparing the game time temperatures here in Oakland to the halfway house that the A's will be playing in next season. And Vegas after that. And if that's not convenient, I don't know what is. I survived the bike ride and I want to get in early. So time to line up. Good, how are you? Good, thank you. Just one? Just one. All right, enjoy. Thank, thank you. you. I think I was the third person in the stadium, so there's no one here yet, but I'm sure it'll fill up a little bit more than it is right now. First impression is they've done a great job. This is as impressive as it is going to an A's game. The game doesn't start for a while, so let me show you around the stadium. This is cool. You enter through a tunnel that makes this small stadium feel like the real deal. I think that's reserved. And all that is general admission. Premium section. Not me. That is the free bike valet. Free. What a great idea. There are a bunch of cool art pieces behind the grandstand. The ballers recycle and compost. And it looks like there's a lot of food. But we'll get into that later. The players are about to warm up. Let's see the pickoff move. Safe, by a mile. We're rooting for the other guys. The game is starting soon and I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if anyone is gonna show up to this thing. Here there is no first pitch. They do a first hit. Leadoff hit for the bad guys, but the catcher, Tyler Lozano, would immediately catch him stealing. Lozano would be the hero of this game, whether we knew it now or not. Unfortunately, an inning later, the Voyagers would take the lead. So let's see what else is going on here in West Oakland. But don't look away too long, our boy Tyler just put a ball over the fence and put the ballers in the lead. Plus, this won't be the last we see of him. And speaking of heroes, there's Mayor Mike. Thanks for the coupon. Soon, the unthinkable happened. Fans started filling a baseball stadium in Oakland. I haven't seen that in years. On a cold Tuesday night, no less. Time for some food. I heard great things about these tacos, but I said it before. I'm here for hot dogs and peanuts. Plus, my seat is right by the grills and fryers, so I've been smelling this deliciousness all game. How you doing? Can I get a classic dog, peanuts, and a Coke, please? $20 for all this at a baseball game is a price I can get behind. Even the merch is reasonably priced. To me, nothing says baseball like peanuts. I love eating peanuts at baseball games, and normally I throw the shells on the ground, but I think this Oakland baseball organization deserves some respect. Just when everything was going perfectly, I spotted this. That bag doesn't look clear to me, and that lens looks awfully big, but who cares? Everyone here is having a great time. Time for a bathroom tour. Just kidding. Here are some other good things to know about the stadium. So that is the parking lot. Parking has security the entire game. This is the mascot, Scrappy the Possum. The staff is incredible and really helpful, especially this guy. And here's a fun tidbit if the game is tied after nine innings. Do not go into extra innings. There's a home run derby, so we're hoping for that. The seventh, and you know what that means. It's the Capitol Corridor I thought this might be the story of no one showing up to Ballers games. In reality, that just wasn't the case. But then this happened. The Ballers walked in a run with the bases loaded, putting this game out of reach. Or so we thought 
at the time. It all started with a double that just made its way down the line. But the ballers aren't home yet. It's down to two outs in the bottom of the ninth. Down to the final strike. With a chance to end the game, the Voyagers missed this pop-up foul ball, giving the ballers life. Full count, two outs, bottom of the ninth. It all comes down to this. Or does it? A hard-earned walk would mean that the tying run is at the plate. So the guy who hit the home run is now up. The ballers have a long way to go, but it feels like they might win this game. And if he does hit another home run, that will tie the game and send us into a sudden death home run derby. Can you feel that? Scrappy feels it. The fans feel it. Even this Voyager super fan had to leave the stadium. That's the game. What the ballers have done in Oakland is incredible, but does it make up for Oakland losing four professional sports teams? It was cool, I had a great time, and I will absolutely go back. But going to a ballers game is a little bit different than going to see a professional or even minor league game. And if you wanna know what that's like, I made these videos just for you. Hit subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.